Okay. Now. This is an example of how to use uh, the clock face and the fall line to determine exactly where the target spot is located near the hole. Target spot is always located on the high side exactly on the fall line and it indicates a place where a secondary or ghost hole might be located if you were putting straight and there would be no break. So there's an imaginary putt directly at the target spot as if it were a hole located there. And the real this putt will right break here. towards the real hole Above. off of that line on the curve. On the 12th side. And the energy of the putt is defined the by the idea of rolling the ball straight along to the ghost the hole or the high. secondary target hole as if it were a straight putt and the ball would enter that target up, hole this, it's exactly the same delivery speed as usual. You so you can that. think of yourself as sitting, setting up on a putt-putt golf course, putting straight to the target hole and then delivering it over the front edge with uh, the usual two revolutions per second or whatever it might be, and ignoring the fact that the ball will actually curve downhill and go into the real hole. The trick about all this is that the fall line serves as a touch reference in that sense with the secondary hole being located there for straight putt. In order to see how high the target spot is located up on the high side of the fall line, which is the 612 line for the clock face, you'd stand at the 3 o'clock position and imagine putting dead straight at the hole with the usual okay. delivery speed right, so right there. and knowing that in fact the ball would break to the low side it would not really go straight at the hole it would break to the low side and would cross the fall line a specific number of inches low when it crosses the fall line on the low side on the six side of the line it will have the delivery speed that goes with your usual touch what you want to know is how many inches low does it actually cross the fall line. If it crosses the fall line seven and a half or eight inches low, then your target on the high side of the fall line is located exactly that same distance uphill, seven and a half or eight inches as the case may be. That would be where your secondary or ghost hole would be located on the fall line on the high side. And then you would putt directly at that as if you were the putt putt and ignore the fact that the ball will break and roll down. This way you're using your usual delivery speed or sense of touch in order to see the break in a specific curvature and to therefore identify specifically the target spot on the high side of the hole. You use the same usual touch to see this break and that will be the same touch that you use to execute the putt. So reading the putt, selecting the target, and then committing to the line and putting for the distance are all integrated in one thing, and that's quite a different kettle of fish from what's usual in golf instruction. There's no such thing as seeing the break and then hunting for the touch. The touch and the break come together in an integrated hole.